This is the video number 5 of the course of conservation framing carried out by Rinaldi. The course is edited and presented by Mal Reynolds, who is a recognized authority in this field. Earlier, I showed you how to make your own mounting corners. There are these mounting corners available that are already made and scored that you can use just as effectively. They actually come in these packets and when you take them out this is the actual uh, corner pockets themselves and the way to actually separate them is to just simply tear them apart and you can see that they tear quite easily and that is one corner pocket and go down there like that. So, okay, what we need to do is we need to be able to position the corner pockets so we place our artwork on the undermount and then just mark the corners where the pockets want to be right so what I now have to do with that I've separated one of the hinges or corner pockets I have to fold it along these creases you see the creases there and there So there we are, there's the first crease and then the second crease okay. and then just make the crease permanent by the use of the bone. It is then simple to actually remove the, the tabs themselves revealing the adhesive and then to place them onto the corner point required and then do the same for each of the other corners there we are. and then of course the artwork and just slip quite nicely inside those corner pockets. In the same way as using mounting corners, we can use these framers corners. They're just as simple to use as the mounting corners and they come in these long strips and they're just basically corner pockets. So what I've done is I've placed my artwork onto the position I need on my undermount Mark the corners very lightly with a pencil. Remove the artwork and take one of the strips and then I have to release the actual polyester corner itself. And you can see me releasing the backing paper there and that is a corner. Now one will notice is that that strip across there needs to be a little bit further out from the corner itself to be effective. We need to come across the corner as, as required. So that's my first corner. second corner that's my third corner on so there I have my four corner pockets my frame is cornered in place I now can place the artwork into each corner There's the artwork. In an earlier demonstration, I showed you how to support artwork using paper supports and edge supports. There are items which uh, we can use 
Um, these archival mounting strips, we can use those to support our artwork without the use of adhesives in the same way as uh, shown in that earlier demonstration. These archival mount strips come in strips of this long and what I have done is I have actually taken and cut one strip into three centimetre pieces. I have also marked around the edge of the artwork positions where I should actually place the actual strips themselves. So the way that they are used is there's some release papers here so I tear the release paper off and then I want to position them in such a way to support that artwork. So I'm going to position one just there and one just there on the bottom edges on the top edges almost diametrically opposite there and also there and you can see what I'm doing is I actually take the release paper off and I slide the actual hinge to, until the edge of the card hits the edge of the, of the artwork and then I press down and it self adheres and so there we are once again I move it till the actual board or the card hits the artwork and then just move it slightly down again on this side and finally on the bottom and there we have our artwork supported you will find all the products for conservation framing in our website